Yeah, thanks for taking the call. I just wanted to, because um, yeah, me and my friends, we, we're like kind of working on this project called like Men Talk, and we just want to encourage like other young men to kind of, yeah, to speak about like health in general, but also like mental health as well. Yeah. Because um, that can be like a big thing that like men feel a lot of pressure but don't talk about. Sure. Um, yeah, so it can be sometimes difficult to talk about it and find like the, I guess, the right environment to feel like you can speak about it. But um, yeah, no, thanks for taking the call, man. No, pleasure. I have a self-improvement community in French. So basically, that's that's the type of topic that I always focus on. So that's why I was really interested. Oh, nice, nice, cool. Wait, tell me a bit more about that then. So are you from France originally? No, I'm from Morocco originally. But okay. I'd say French is my mother tongue because since a kid, I was always in French schools. So that's why uh, French is my first language, make it simple. So yeah, okay. like I said, I have like a whole community because I started in 2021. I wanted to <clears throat> document my self-improvement journey. And that's where I built like a community. I think I have around like 600 people on YouTube. And I have like uh-huh. a private newsletter of around 90 people. So yeah, I'd say people really understand my message and they're going through the same thing. So that's why all of this self-improving mental health and all that stuff is really appealing to me, you know? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Like, <laughs> I, I, I never knew this This would be your, like, this your speciality. This is your force, yeah, man. That's good. Usually, like, I start off these conversations just by, like going over the three categories of health that I'd say okay. that we have. So it's like your physical health, like your mental health, and like also like your spiritual health for people who are like spiritual. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like in terms of like your physical health, how would you say it is at the moment? How would you like rate it? And also like what kind of things do you do to kind of stay on top of like your physical health? Honestly, I'd say it's great at the moment. I'd qualify myself as a holistic athlete. I don't know if you've heard about biohacking and all that stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, I've heard a little bit of biohacking, okay, bio but not going to too much. But yeah, tell me. Tell so me basically, I just focus on what nature's, nature can bring you. So, for example, if nature can provide me some vitamins or all that stuff, I try and make sure that I can get like a, a diet rich in fruit, rich in animal-based, anything that's animal-based, really, you know? I believe yeah. that your diet is a reflection of everything because all disease starts in the gut. So if you make sure that you're eating the right foods and you're living a good, healthy healthy lifestyle, you're exercising, you'll feel good. So I'd say I'm different from other people because I, I don't do all that whey protein stuff. You know, like for me, I believe it's not good for you. So I would, yeah. only, I would only focus on natural foods and I'm very strict when it comes to my diet. I really reprogrammed my entire brain now when i eat like for, for example processed food i can feel it you know some people yeah. don't feel it i can feel it straight away so i'd yeah. say that for me diet is number one and of course exercising and making sure you can sleep at least six to seven hours a night that's mainly everything for when it comes to fitness wow no, that's good i, I relate to that a lot actually because um myself i'm vegan so that's good i like to do like uh, I eat just like you whole foods like I don't really rely on any kind of supplements or anything like that okay um, yeah because I, I eat like a lot of mushrooms as well so like recently I went to the doctors I got a blood test done just for a checkup and you know they usually say about vegans they don't have enough B12 but actually the variety of mushrooms I have they have like a high source of B12 in them. Okay. So actually, my doctor was saying that like, actually, like, he's I've, I've got the highest levels of B12 he's ever seen. Okay, um, that's crazy. Yeah, which is good. But yeah, like I completely agree because I also like cut out oil. Uh, that's good. Yeah, I, seed oils. You've heard about it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seed oils are yeah. Yeah, seed oils are banned for me. That's good. Yeah, so, yeah, I literally just don't use oils. But, but like, obviously, I'm not super strict. So, like, if I go out and I'm, I'm out and about, I have no choice. Um, and I need something to eat. Then, like, I'll have something that's a bit oily or something like that. I try not to, yeah. where I have the option. Um, but, yeah, you can definitely feel it. Like, I just feel sluggish. I feel like my stomach's not right. Like, all the oil, grease, and just the processed food is... No, I'm completely with you there, man. It's... It's so tough. But. 100%. There's even research saying that it stays up to four years in your skin cells. So you're not even, you're literally poisoning yourself, you know? So oh, yeah, right. when you yeah. can, just avoid it as as best as possible, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like my, my girlfriend, she 
she does like a lot of um, reading up on these kind of things as well. That's good. And she was saying like um, oil actually makes women's periods like really, really bad. Yeah. Because um, there's a lot of women who suffer from like endometriosis and things like that. I don't know if you've heard of that. No, but, um, no I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's, it's just like when women have like severely painful periods to the point where like... Oh, it's these almost ones, okay. Yeah, and... Um, yeah, when, when women like cut out oil and eat like loads of leafy greens and like whole foods, it like almost completely goes away. In most cases, it will like be severely reduced, yeah. um, but in some cases, like completely goes away as well. So it's like it just goes to show like how much of an impact it does. Do you know what I mean? For sure, I, I would argue that leafy greens are bad for you because the problem with leafy greens is that first of all, you can't really peel them, so you're literally eating the the leafy green while it's full of pesticides and herbicides all that stuff and also because they contain a lot of anti-nutrients and they're very hard to digest so the best way to consume them is it's either to juice them or do not eat them you know that, that's okay. that's the whole research behind it like even in their own dna they have something called defense chemicals so basically they protect themselves from animals and humans so that you don't overeat them compared to fruits for example fruits fruit just get you just find them from trees you know they want to be eaten so you wait yeah. for them to become ripe and nice and sweet and you eat them but vegetables it's a different story you know so i try to avoid leafy greens and vegetables i'm mainly on fruits honestly like mainly fruits yeah okay no, i never knew that about leafy greens so yeah do you not do you not feel bloated when you eat leafy greens or like green vegetables Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I don't eat a lot of leafy greens. I'll be honest. Okay. I don't eat a lot of them. Um, not by like I didn't make a conscious decision to not. I just yeah, generally don't don't eat them that often. Um, okay. Because most yeah. of the girls would say, yeah, I eat salad every day. I don't understand why I'm bloated and stuff, and they never question it, you know. But when you do your research, you're gonna find that they're not the best thing for your gut health. Fruit, yeah. There's nothing better than fruit. So yeah. Yeah. No, I eat a lot of fruit. To be fair. So. That's good. Yeah. No definitely with you on that one. yeah so you say you, I, I can tell you take your health like very seriously 100 percent. for me diet yeah. is everything and i'm not gonna make any exceptions you know so i'm really yeah. strict when it comes to diet no nah, that's good that's good how long have you like um been taking your, your diet seriously to this point i'd say a year but it was way way back then but i wasn't really strict you know way back then yeah. i would be like the average gym guy for example eating healthy and training but now it's really biohacking properly you know yeah 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 it's good i used to like a lot of uh, andrew huberman and stuff i've heard this name somewhere but i, I don't think i've watched any of his vids or something i follow okay. a doctor called uh, paul saladino i don't know if you've okay. heard about him no, but, I've not heard so he basically is a is a doctor with lots of certificates and stuff and he focuses on an animal-based diet and this is what truly opened my eyes you know because it was something so new that i was like okay i'll try it out and the result was so damn good so <laughs> that's how i live now you know ah oh, that's good that's good again exactly if you found something that that works and you've seen the tangible benefits of it like yeah you really stick to it i believe in ex experiencing stuff you know i, I don't like theories i want to experience stuff and see what's best for me yeah exactly exactly oh, that's really good that's really good man it's just kind of giving me more motivation to like also yeah, research more about foods and like how we can, yeah, like you say, biohacking. Love it. That's good. Yeah, that's good. And then, all right, so then the next topic is like, how would you say like your mental health is and what kind of things do you do to try and take care of it? I'd say at this point, uh, since since I've already told you, I, I have a self-improvement community. So they, they went through the same thing as me. I'd say at first I would isolate myself and be hard on myself and try to understand the harsh reality of the world and stuff but it, it's a whole process you know when you go through that phase where you're alone and you think that you should only be alone you should be that lone wolf you know uh, yeah. it, you have to go through through that process so that you, you understand that the world is not really like that and that you need to speak to people you need to inspire people be around them experiment new stuff so i think that at this point i'm I'm really comfortable when it comes to socializing and when it comes to seeking value and adding value to people's life. But like I said, you need to go through that first phase where you're alone and you're depressed and you feel that no one is with you so that you can understand that there is a solution to that. And once you start 
being around people that are ambitious and they want to change your life, that's when you'll open your eyes. And as you know, humans learn the hard way. So you really need to struggle and see it for yourself. And then I, I believe that your mental health will massively improve. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you because I've, I've definitely been there myself to a point, like a like breaking point. And yeah, very much alone. You feel, even though I was surrounded by people, I was completely like alone because I didn't share or talk about what I was going through and try and deal with everything on my own. And yeah, I thought it worked for a long period of time. Even I got out, got myself out of like a little rut I was in, um, a little, yeah, a, a quite a dark spell. Yeah. And I got got myself out of it. But actually, I found out like a few years later, actually, I wasn't completely over that. And I needed to open up and share and like kind of get it, let it out so okay. that it couldn't like hold me back anymore. Do you know? Yeah. I believe that opening up is good, but you should do it to, for example, your parents or your brothers, you know. When I say yeah, brothers, it's yeah. true friends, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like, a risky thing to do. Close, close people, like, like the people that are there to help you and support you and, 100%. Like, and encourage you. And also, like, sometimes give you the hard truth you need to hear also. Of course. Like I said, when you're surrounded with people who are ambitious and we see the world as it is, you can only improve, you know. Because even as a man, you're going to be like... Oh, Okay, I'm left out now. I can't. I can't be like this, you know. I need to make sure to adapt and evolve and be like them. So yeah. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> You're very, very much like very switched on and um, yeah, very. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, like quite conscientious as well. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. No, it's good. It's good to speak to you. Same. But 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 interest. Like, how how old are you actually? I'm 22 now. 22, wow. Yep. Wow, you have the maturity of somebody much older than you. <laughs> That's what they usually tell me. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a process, you know, like sometimes you have to see the world as it is and you have to grow as fast as possible and make sure that you're doing the right things. And I believe when you do the right things and you follow the right people and you inspire people, you can only grow and be older than your age, you know? You cannot just yeah. be that kid who plays video games and does nothing of his days. Exactly, exactly. That's like, I think, I don't know, I, I have other views on this, but I think that's the biggest trap that, I don't know, whoever created the trap has put in place in, in today's society. And I, I, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a tough one. It's a tough one, really. And it's quite, quite sad, um, the way that the, a lot of the world is um, at the moment. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that that could be like a whole another conversation that we could get into. For sure, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then the other topic um, I like to touch on, um, if people are spiritual or religious or anything, is like, how would you say your spiritual health is? Like, how is your spirit? Well, I'm I'm a Muslim, so basically my religion is, let's say, a little bit strict, but strict in a good sense because you're always reminded to be grateful. You're always reminded to pray to God. So I believe that when you understand that this society kind of need, needs God, you know, you can only be a good person and try and do good and make sure that you never create useless problems. You never create like useless division and oppositions and stuff. So I'd say when, when you know about your religion and when you know that you have to be a good person, you can only be, be good inside. And I believe that for someone who has everything on earth but doesn't have God, doesn't have spirituality on his side, he will always have this empty thing in his heart. And he will never know how to feel it, you know. So I, f I feel like when I pray every day, when I make sure that I pray my five prayers, I'm grounded to earth and I'm a good person generally. And I'm very conscious of my actions. I'd argue that being a Muslim is being conscious of every single action and, know and knowing that you'll be held accountable for it. So that's why I believe that my spirituality and my uh, mental health, even when it comes to religion, is pretty solid. That's really good. That's really good. No, I'm, I'm very, I'm very happy to hear, hear, hear you speak like this, actually. Because, <laughs> especially, like, I, I, I know your age is, age is just a number, but like even for your age, that's such a, that's such a good mindset to have, and even putting God first, like that is so, so important. It is, and it's something that a lot of people, and I say especially a lot of young people, just don't have or don't want anything to do with, and. Yeah, then they wonder why they're stressing about all these material 
beings or the things of the world. And yeah, it's yeah, it's very sad when when people like deny God, but then are asking why bad things happen to them. It's um, yeah. Hundred so percent. It's a it's a proof that the programming has worked. You know, so exactly. they made this society and money and social media their god. Like mm. God exists, but people see God as something else. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Honestly. Um. Yeah. So, I think those are those are the main three um, topics that we kind of go over. But you you seem like you're like very very um, strong. Very strong, <laughs> not Thank just you. physically, but also like mentally, because I think that's the real strength, right? Like, it's no point being the biggest guy at the gym if you, if you mentally are not strong, because actually that's where the true strength comes from. And 100%. Also, like, you can't be um, strong in the mind if you're not strong in your faith. I think it's all connected, do you know? 100%. Humans are holistic, so everything needs to be put in place. You cannot be strong physically and be weak mentally. And the same same goes the uh, way around, you know? So yeah, you have to make sure you work on every single area. And that's how you'll be truly happy. Yeah. No, I completely agree, man. Completely agree. Um, yeah, is, is there anything else you wanted to add on, like, health and how you kind of look after yourself? Like, nav- try and navigate life? I'd say if, if you try to treat the root cause of every single problem you're gonna live a good life because nowadays people only treat the symptoms you know i'll give you an example when you get sick you never ask yourself why am i sick you just go buy some pills and be like okay they'll they'll take care of the sickness you know if you apply this logic to every single thing you'll be way wiser and you'll be conscious of everything and you'll have a great life so basically that's what i'm trying to apply and like i said earlier it starts with a good diet because when you know what you put into your body you're gonna calculate every single thing in your life so that would be my main advice, even when it comes to mental health, like try and understand why you're feeling that way, what caused that way, and what could improve your feeling, what could improve your mentality, you know? That's it, that's it. So, like yeah. if you, yeah, you shouldn't worry about the fruits on the tree if there's an issue. You should go to the roots. Exactly. Root cause so, every single time. But it's been really, really nice talking to you. Maybe we can just keep in contact because yeah, you're a very like-minded individual. So yeah, it'd be nice to, yeah, let's keep in contact. For sure, man. My gyms are, are always open for you. Perfect, perfect. All right, bro. Have a uh, good rest of the evening. You too. And you take care. See ya. All right, see you later. Yeah. Bye.